Hi there everyone, um, this is Mahfouz. Um Welcome to Maths Rush and today we're going to talk about PSLE math exam format for the P5 and P6 because this is a very important um, exam that everyone will have to go through and this is the format for PSLE Paper 1, um, booklet A and B and Paper 2, section A and B and this is the breakdown of the marks so before I go through this um, format, I would like to show you some tips to improve your marks, right? So this would, um, the first step is to of course to conquer paper one, yeah? Which is uh, MCQ and short answer, which is relatively quite simple, but to do them is quite difficult. Let me explain why, because uh, when some of us um, don't like math since primary 3 so what happens here is that our P3 foundation um, basics would be somewhere like this it's very broken okay so let's say this is uh, whole numbers so this is P3 okay now if I want to build up this whole numbers in P4 I still need to fill up the gap over here but most of us don't do that. We carry on with P4. So what happened is that it becomes more staggered. Okay, this P4 that they learn. However, P4 requires you a standard of this amount. Okay, because of a weak foundation in P3, you missed out this whole thing over here. So they can't catch up unless you revise this thing and fill up the gap. And of course, P5 there's another whole numbers. So if you build it up over here. But they are required to learn all these things again. So it will be hard for them to um, catch up if that's the case. So what you should do to do uh, to solve this problem, to build a stronger foundation, is that I recommend this book, um, this diagnostic practice. Why I want to use this book is it's easier to go through with your kids. Um, subtopics within topics. So over here, if you open up the content page, uh, it's relatively uh, a very simple format where there's a pre-test followed by the main content followed by a post-test so what you should do is after grabbing this book is that you start off with the pre-test let them do all the pre-test question from all the topics yeah this is p6 of course uh, please get uh, in the standard that they are in 2016 don't go ahead um, before what the school teach because let the school teachers do their job okay tuition and coaching so on is better for us to fill up the gaps that they fail to understand if you understand the diagram over here okay we don't want them to um, uh, miss out those gaps because if you're gonna build it up again it's gonna be hard okay so do all the pre-test first followed by going through all the uh, pre-test first. So, for example, let's go to ratio. Okay. And this is the pre-test for ratio. And what should we do here is to let them try all the questions. Okay, all the questions until you finally um, reach the main content. Okay, so over here is nothing to worry. Okay, let's say He's unable to do question one so what you should do is go to the main content and try out question one okay and for question two if they can do go to question two do more of this this is small practice until they get correct please check your working behind and after they're done with everything okay, it's best that they can do more questions more questions means more practice more practice means they should get correct after you guide them okay don't ask them to do without guidance guide them for example um, um, for question two over here okay simplify so you need to learn how to simplify for them guide them teach them make them understand then they can be able to practice so what I usually do for my coaching is to let them uh, do the pretest first followed by go to my uh, con main content and go through at least one or two questions make sure they understand then you give them some practice question until they get the hang of it and then after that after a few more sessions let them try the same type of question again make sure they get it for all this question okay we want their foundation to be strong 
So this is a diagnostic book. It should be sufficient for them to at least just pass the paper. Okay, so if you look over here, okay, this is the exam format for um, paper one all the way to paper two. So over here, let's say, okay, for booklet A, let's say they just bear the, just do the diagnosis test alone for all the topics, they should be able to score full marks for this, okay, which will give you a total of 20 marks, okay. And of course, all these this five questions here, with, which is two marks, might be too difficult, but I believe they can they get at least 50% out of it. Um, they, uh, 50% which means you get 20 marks from your one mark question, and the other 20 marks, you score about 10. That will give you about 30 marks. That is quite okay, right? And then... Another 20 marks, I believe you can score at least one third of it over here, which will give you 20 marks. And this will give you a total of 50 marks, which you just pass the paper. So for a start, please do that. Okay, work on your diagnosis stick. Uh, Match practice. Okay, do the pre-test, followed by some content with some guidance, and then ask them to do the post-test. They should score well after going, after your guidance, and so on. Sorry. So right now, um, what we're going to do with the remaining marks, okay? 30 marks is fairly, fairly easy to get. Uh, that's about 75% uh, of the total marks, which is 40 for paper 1. For paper 2, is out of 60. And how do we get more marks, okay? And this is the marks that you would either score a B to an A and above. When we want to conquer paper 2, the most important thing that we have to do is more to exposure of um, paper 2 question, especially from different schools and so on. Okay, and of course you definitely need this for your paper 2. Okay, and that's when you need uh, much more guidance perhaps from a rich enrichment course or in school. Yeah, so... Sorry about the flash. Um, this is um, my scheme of work for a course that I'm going to do uh, next year in 2017. And I hope some of you will participate in it. Okay. This is all different um, strategies that I talk about. Okay. Um, equal concept, my favorite. A gap and difference, um, remainder, and grouping, ratios, questions, simultaneous. And I hope that... Um, it's not all the concepts, but if you go through this course and able to do well in the course, you should be able to score at least a 17 marks, okay? 16 and above, okay? But before you even want to register this course, I recommend you to do your diagnostic test, okay? If you've been scoring 50 marks, okay, good for you. Try to do more diagnostic to find out which part of your topics that you're rather weak at, yeah? Followed by, you need some problem solving skills, which is very important. Okay, so this is the PSLE format for maths, for P5 and P6. For P4, uh, this year, you're going to go to P5, okay, and P5 is a major jump. It's a major jump in um, the exam. You see how many questions you do, and it's two papers, and it's quite tedious. Yeah, so... Let me share with you. The first paper is about 50 minutes. Okay, there's a duration for 40 marks. And for paper 2, it's 1 hour and 40 minutes, which is 100 minutes total. So within 100 minutes, you need to score this amount, which can be um, quite um, uh, new to you for P4 students going to P5 next year. And I hope that um, build up on your foundation, okay? Get a diagnostic book and really work on it, okay? Then followed by other assessment, okay? Build your foundation well so that you can score better um, for your exam. Okay, this is my recommendation. Um, for more about my problem-solving course, uh, more details will be revealed soon, okay? If you're interested, please send an email. Uh, uh, not email, um, uh, send a message on my Facebook um, through a private message or probably in the page itself it would be good okay um, so I hope that um, you like this video
and of course please share it to everyone who might be needing this okay thank you very much see you next time